Well, and I feel like that isn't that just the the extension of the regenerative conversation that we're having, right? Like, um, I'm a citizen of the Chickasaw Nation, and so and a part of the Intertribal Agricultural Council, and so mm. and so much of that is it's like, and that's not a tradition I grew up with. It's what I'm learning, um, but at the same time, it's like you, they're like, you, you mean regenerative organic? You mean how we've always been producing like <laughs> how say it again for the yes. people in the back I mean, say it again for the people in the back yeah <laughs> you mean how how we did this entire country before y'all got here um and so yeah it's it's i think it is uh tied to that right like why would we produce yopan in any other way when it is so um deeply tied um to so many different indigenous tribes you know in this tradition um and then the same way that, that, like, I know at least for the Chickasaws, like we define being a warrior um, as being a steward of the land. Like that was mm. just how the approach was to everything, our interaction with um, the land, with other tribes, with people. And that's something that is still carried forward today, even though, you know, Yopan doesn't grow as well in Oklahoma. So the tradition has been really lost um, from back when we were in Mississippi. But at the same time, like, yeah, it's it's. I feel like it's a big parallel to that bigger conversation of like, yeah, regenerative organic. It's nothing new. It's what what you made all of the indigenous people stop doing, um, right? A couple hundred years ago. So yeah, 